Right, in this video we're going to do a, a video review and a demonstration of the Bada Hyperion eyepieces. Um, this is what they look like and first of all we'll go through what you get in the box which is you get your eyepiece and you also get an extra cap for the end which is actually a little bit smaller. The reason being that if you take off this big cap, the eyepiece, the, the rubber rolls up, it's like a fold up eyepiece cup like so. I prefer to keep the, these up and this, the, smaller eye, the smaller cover fits it when, they, when it's rolled up which saves you having to keep like rolling it up and down all the time. Um, you also get a little PVC drawstring bag with the Bada logo on it uh, just to keep your eyepiece safe. Um, now on this end this isn't the standard uh, end cap, this is actually a really natty little device done by Wade Whedon at Billet Parts and it's a screwing cap, uh, fits any 1.25mm size eyepiece or filter covers or webcams or anything like that. He does them in white and he does them in black and he does them in 1.25 and in 2 inch. Now I prefer them in white simply because it's a small object and if you're going to drop it and you're in the dark it's got to be easier to find that way. Um, just a little, little plug there for, for Wayne's caps. Um, now then, onto the eyepiece itself. Uh, first thing that you might notice is that it's got ridges here and here. The reason being that as it is it will fit into a 1.25 or a 2 inch focuser as a 17mm eyepiece. Now, they are modular, what they call a modular eyepiece, because it, basically it's like the Lego of, of astronomy. Um, and what you can do is you can screw out this first set of elements just here. And if we put that off to one side, we now have a two inch eyepiece. But the two inch, now that the, the first set of elements have been removed, the two inch is actually now a 30mm lens. Um, if we put this back on again, that makes it back into a 17mm. Um, now as extras you can get the adjustment rings, what they call Bada fine adjustment rings, which are these that are available in 14mm and 28mm and you can use various combinations of these, you can use the 14mm on its own or the 28mm on its own or you can put the 14 and the 28 together like so and use the two together. like so and we can screw these into there and then you can screw in your next set of elements straight into there and it gives you various focal lengths uh, of eyepiece um, like now with, with, the, with, the, with the 17 if you put the 14 on it gives you a 13.1mm eyepiece, if you put the 28mm spacer on it gives you a 10.8mm eyepiece. So you know it gives you like a, a fairly wide selection of eyepieces um, and like as I say it's, it, that's why they call them modular, it's a bit like Lego. Now also they have threads at, at this end of the eyepieces. The first one which is underneath this cup uh, you should be able to see that there's a thread there. That one is actually an M43 thread. And if you pull this second rubber up, just here, I don't know if you can see in there, but if we remove this, there's another thread on this part, which is an M54 thread. Now what these threads allow you to do is you can screw on adapters, various adapters. You can fit um, an SLR to it. Uh, you can fit a digital web, a digital camera to it. You know, if it's if it, if you've got the threaded sort of lens on your digital camera, and even a camcorder. Some camcorders have got a, a thread on the on the inside of the lens, so you can screw an adapter onto your camcorder, put your camcorder onto this, allowing you to do uh, IP projection. And you can even get uh, threads adapters with an extension on it that you can put a webcam into. So if you've got a webcam with a nose piece. Uh, you can do eyepiece projection with that as well. So all in all, it's, it's a very, very adaptable um, piece of kit once you've bought the um, the adapter rings and everything. And basically, that's about it. Um, 
I'm I'm really happy with them. I've got these in the 17 millimeter, and I've got them in the 8 millimeter, and uh, I just love them to bits. Um, you'll get different reports from different people on on the different sizes as well, because just some are better performers than others, which is you know the case with everything. Um, but you know there it is. Uh, I hope that helps you to sort of decide if it's something that you've been considering. And once again, thanks for watching.